18 plus disclaimer. Finally, we get to have the porn game. Please welcome to the stage, the creator of the Game Awards, Jeff Keeley. The big man, Jeff. There he is. We love Jeff. Oh my God, hello everybody. How you doing? It is so up. great to have a live crowd with us here in Cologne, yep. Germany for Gamescom 2022. I'm Jeff Keeley, and I gotta say, I am so excited to be here with you. We did this in 2019, live in person in Imagine. Germany, and then the past two years, we had to do it virtually gosh. from Los Angeles. And in 2020, the first show that my team did together live was that August, Gamescom, and we connected with all of you virtually. And the fact that we're back we here in that. person, I don't want to ever take this for granted before. So, uh, guys, are you ready for a fun show? Yeah, yeah. All right, all right, let's get to well, the Elden Ring DLC. I Come say, on. We have a Come lot on. of great stuff for you tonight. We have tons of world premieres. The entire industry has come together to showcase the future for you. Bloodborne We've got games too. like Sonic Frontiers, nuts. The Callisto Protocol, Outlast Trials, Hogwarts Legacy, Ooh. Gotham Knights. Ooh, okay. And a lot okay. of surprises of things that we didn't talk about in advance. That's, so that's we've got the some Elden good Ring stuff DLC. for you tonight yeah. here at Gamescom. And Bro, I'm ready. I can't wait to get started. We've got two hours of stuff, so should we just get right to it? Yeah, All let's right. get right to it. I love the roar of a live crowd, and because we got a live crowd, we got to surprise you with some stuff tonight, too. So let's start things off with our first world premiere. It's a new world from a brand new team new that has world. a bold vision. Let's check this out. Okay. Let's see it. World premiere. Oh my God, it's ancient we Greece. We want the community to build this. We want it to be their worlds. We want them to tell their stories in our game. I think it's human nature to navigate uncharted territory. Okay. Find a place where we're free to explore. True. To be creative. True. To share amazing experiences. True. The goals are to make an experience that's unlike any other, which is such an exciting thing to be part of. I think ultimately, like that's kind of been the big ambition. We're gonna get the gameplay. Like, open world that can be built out in every direction. I think it's every day is a new discovery, so it's constantly growing. We've put a lot it's of focus, day, I think, on the current zeitgeist and what it means to represent yourself digitally. This is more than a game. It's a labor of love. It's a labor of passion. Wow. The dream is to create a whole new world for the next generation of gamers, and I think that we've we've kind of captured that. We're not going to get the gameplay, will, are we? We're a massive part in this. It's not going to be just our game. It's not going to be just what we decide to do with it. There's something in it that will definitely appeal to you, no matter what it is that you love to do. Let's the see really it. The thrilling aspect of all this is that people are going to get to see what we're doing for the first time. I'm just so excited for people to see what we've been spending the last five years pouring our hearts and Looks like into. Tower of Fantasy, I'm kind of. I'm excited to see how they feel about it, even though they will have to wait just a little bit longer. Everywhere has become more than just a video game for us. And today, we're delighted to give you a peek behind the curtain okay. at what we've been working on. Here we go. Okay, 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 okay. I thought it was gonna be the end of the fucking video. Oh! Oh! I like it. This looks awesome. I love the I love the style. Fortnite Tower Fantasy. That style. I love it. What the fuck do you do in this game? Drive around and shoot people. I'm in. Is it open world or what? Everywhere? Why can't y'all just... Tell me what the game is about. That's obviously these two different games. What's this? Oh, it's not. Wait, what? What the fuck? Time for a new world. I don't get it. Like I, I like I think that like if they made that like, that, like an go, MMO or sandbox, that'd and be I'm cool. I'm sure you've got a ton of questions. Yeah. And joining me now from Builder Rocket Boy is Adam Whiting to hopefully answer some of those because uh, we're a little confused, but we want to know a lot about how this. the fuck so you played this game. Uh, everywhere, what kind of game is this? What can you yeah. tell us? Adam? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, firstly, can I just say it's really exciting to just be here, and we've been 
looking forward to coming out of stealth mode and really delighted to start the conversation today wow. here at Gamescom. Now, I won't be able to reveal everything, but what I can say is that really we're not trying to make a normal game. I think the scope and ambition of this project are quite unlike anything else. We want to build a whole new world for gamers. And okay. It's a place to play, but watch, share, create, hang out with your friends. And so it's so an MMO. Well, I got to say, uh, so, the end of the trailer, I think we all were taken aback by, whoa, change, change art style. This seems yeah, totally different. Yeah. Well, is that part of everywhere? What can you tell I us? I thought that was two different games. Well, Jeff, that's one of the many surprises we've got in store for players. I mean, we are passionate about making games and telling stories, but ultimately we made everywhere to be a place where players can make their own experiences, be who they want to be and what does tell their mean? own stories. But we're still passionate about making immersive and cinematic experiences that players can just get lost in and enjoy. I guess you say we want people to have their cake and eat it, and everywhere is a place that can happen. What, right, well, what flavor of cake is it? Uh, vision for what you're doing here. Uh, is it a carrot cake? I'm sure we're all wondering is, we didn't see any data on the trailer. Any sense of when we're going to get to play this thing? Where are you at in development? Well, what is I'm this? I'm delighted to say that we aim to have everywhere in the hands of players in 2023, but we've got many more things to show and tell <laughs> over the coming months. And we're really excited for you to sign up on our website, everywhere.game. But really, today was just a sneak peek behind the curtain to see what the team has been so hard at work on. And we're really excited to get this in the I don't know what it is. As soon as possible. Amazing. Well, Adam, thank you for sharing the reveal here at Gamescom. It's awesome to have so many European studios on stage. And tonight, we've Very got a cool. lot of European studios that are going to reveal their games uh, for the first time. And right now, we're going to move to another world premiere announcement. Dude, I wish they would have talked more about the game. Like, I really, like, I, that looks cool. Like, I, oh, these are people that made Tower of Fantasy. What's this? Okay. You got a French flag. I must not fear. Fear is the mind killer. Okay. Dune? Yeah, is it Dune? Fear is the little death that brings total obliteration. Yeah, it's Doom. Yep. I will face my fear. I will permit it to pass over and through me. This is and really it good. Gone past, I will turn the inner eye to see its path. Where the fear is gone, there will be nothing. Only I will remain. Looks very cool. Looks super cool. I don't know what it's going to be, though. Oh! Hold! I, I... Um... Oh, okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay! God damn, bro! Like, what Trust the fuck? Trust me, the fun is just beginning tonight. All right. That's badass. How many of you out there are fans of PlayStation? Well, we've got a fun surprise for you. I said, Nobody. PlayStation, what can we do for all the fans coming together here at Gamescom? And right now, I'm honored to share this global PlayStation announcement with you okay. right here, here at we Gamescom. Go. Let's see it. World premiere. Damn, bro. Like, that game actually looked cool. The Dune Survival MMO. I'm about that. I think that's awesome. I'm very positive about it. That's a crazy. What game is this? Bro, what? Oh my god. Is this Controller Simulator 2023? It's already out? Holy shit. Oh my god. 
There you go. It looks the nice. The DualSense Edge. It's a high-performance, ultra-customizable wireless PlayStation 5 controller designed by PlayStation. And you see there you can have your own uh, custom control profiles cool. uh, customized to your play style. If you guys want to learn more about the brand new controller, you can head to PlayStation Blog. And thanks to PlayStation for sharing that announcement with us here at Gamescom. All right, next up, the Callisto cool. Protocol. You guys hyped for that game? Thank you. Well, joining me now is Glenn Schofield from Striking Distance. Kind of neutral uh, on this game. Glenn, we are so excited about this game coming out in December. You came all the way over in the middle of development to Gamescom. We really appreciate it. Uh, how has the response been to Callisto so far? Man, Jeff, the uh, response been very has been positive. fantastic uh, for a new IP. I couldn't ask for anything more. Uh, so I want to thank the fans. Especially for your And uh, I, I want to thank my team for uh, just really killing it. And it's great to be back at Gamescom, man. You know. Well, you got some good stuff for the fans, and we're going to get yeah. to that in a second. Um, you yeah. brought some gameplay. We saw some great stuff at Summer Game Fest. You brought more now. What we are we going to see today, Glenn? Yeah, you've got uh, some uh, live gameplay. Uh -huh. uh, we've got two sections. The first one is going to show some, uh, some crazy combat. And uh, the second one is uh, something new uh, from the game, a little different than what we've shown with a uh, pretty crazy ending. Okay. Yes, it is. Pretty you guys crazy. Are gonna love this. Uh, one thing I wanted to ask you about was you're known certainly in the team for your work on Dead Space, and that game we love the strategic dismemberment. I understand you're kind of one-upping things for this game. Well, we got dismemberment, and we've shown the gore system, um, <laughs> and today we're going to show a couple new things, uh, including one that we're showcasing called mutations. So, okay. Uh, the enemies may sometimes have these tentacles that come out, and if you don't shoot them, take them out on time. Uh, this guy in real time is going to mutate in front of you into something bigger, badder, faster, meaner, and he's going to be taking you out. It's uh, so like in Dark cool. Souls 3, those mobs. Oh, this is one of my most anticipated games. Boys. It's coming out this December. Glenn, okay. thanks to you and the team cool. for putting this together. Let's take a look at brand yeah, new real gameplay life. from the Callisto Protocol. Thank you. By the way, I've got to, I've got to answer a phone call. Like I don't know when I'm going to get it. Just going to let you guys know. Yeah. Health injector. It's so up close. I wish I could zoom out. I want to see his bald ass head. I already have a mirror. Ooh, that was cool. Okay. Waddle on over there. Get his ass. Okay, stab him right in the head. Oh. oh, is this so... Okay, all right, this is the... It reminds me, I'm a fight. This is where I thought the flood looked like in 2001. This is me doing the library. Oh wow, you shoot his head off, he doesn't even die. Oh my god. Okay, he got tentacles out. Uh oh, uh oh. What's he gonna do? Oh my god. <laughs> Seems like he should just use that all the time, man. Hey, yo, fuck that other gun thing, man. Like, just use that. Just get this bitch out of here. Okay. Oh, can you move during this? I wonder how much you can. Ooh. It's a close one. Okay. 
The frame rate on this is um, 27. Oh, little Fall Guys action. I like that. Yeah. Looks like somebody didn't qualify. That's what happens in Fall Guys, right? They should add that. Have like the Callisto Protocol Fall Guys crossover. Where like if the, the little fans hit you, it just cuts your guy in half. There's blood everywhere. All right, that's pretty good, right? Make the blood cotton candy, you'll be okay. <laughs> we got lots more coming for you, but right now I want to introduce my co-host for ONL, Melly. Melly, welcome to ONL. Thanks, Jeff. I'm so excited to be here at Gamescom. Hello, everybody. Hi. I'm your guide for tonight for all the happenings around Gamescom, and I'm really, really excited to be here because the heart of gaming is beating once again. And is game devs right? and publishers from all around the world are making their way to Cologne to show you hundreds of new games. So if, you, if you're not here yet, and still can come by, make sure to drop by. And if you can't, make sure to, uh, to drop by next year because it is definitely worth a visit. And one of the highlights we have this year is we actually have the largest in the area ever bringing visitors and devs closer together than everywhere, anywhere else it, in the world. Uh, and uh, you can meet the well, makers of the most original German. and it's fantastic and creative language. games Chill here. Out, okay. And if you're not here, and weird. if you can't Stop. make it here, do not worry. You can also check out the Indie Arena booth online at gamescom.global. Jeff, it's back to you. Thank you, Mally, and you'll be with us all night. We've got Gamescom awards to come and other things too. But let's get right back to the world premieres. This next one is one you've been waiting for for a long time to see. Let's take a look at this brand new world premiere. Bloodborne 2, gentlemen, here it is. After an age of the cruelest tyranny, man finally defeated its overlord. Okay, all right, the, the Crusades. Do not fall forever. The champions of war united. I'm, I'm about the it. Eternal watch over their tyrant's colossal remains. I, I am about this. For some forces, even death cannot end. It's a hand. But now, eons later, the fallen god's influence pervades the world again. This is very cool. Even sworn enemies. Join his accursed lords of the fallen and damn humanity. That's really cool. Age of devastation. Though from these darkest days, new heroes arise. To defy the gods, one must embrace the darkness. And so lies our only hope. Oh my, are they gonna play dancing on this shit? No shot. Mother, oh my god. Tell your children not to walk my way. Tell your children not to hear my words. What the mean what the say, mother. Let's see the gameplay. Come on. This is cool. I, I love the style. I mean, big surprise. I love the style, right? Oh, that's an interesting turn of events. Okay. Press continue. The Lords of the Fallen. Bro, if this game is not fucking like basically Dark Souls 3 dialed to 11, I'm gonna be upset. Because it looked like that, That's and right. I am fucking they excited. The, uh, the, the Lords That's of awesome. the Fallen. That's awesome. Uh, all right, now it's time for another new game announcement. The that sequel was so cool. The game that redefined the term couch co-op. Check this out. 
What? Halo? Are you struggling? What? Missing your regular FARTs? Uh, it's... Have you tried going online? Visit exotic destinations. Find gnomes in your area. Move your dreams. What are you going to be able to find are. Harambe to? Apply today. No skills? No worries. Everybody's welcome. You're hired. Wow. Was that a disabled crocodile? Open a door of new opportunities. Work alone or with a friend. Or two or more. Wow. You can do it. Wow. Move locally or connect together online. Yeah. Can we go back to the nice Dark Souls 3 one? Coming 2023. Moving out. Like, yeah, I don't want to do that. So, like, yeah, can we go back to the Dark Souls 3 one where it was, like, the guy on the dragon with, like, the lantern. He's, like, pu pulling people's souls out of him. Let's go back to that and listening to Danzig. Come on. Okay, all right. It's yes, lit. it's time to step into the Potterverse. You guys excited for Hogwarts Legacy? Yes, I am. Comes out in well, February. Well, it is coming out in February of 2023, and tonight at Gamescom, we've got the brand new trailer for you to take a look at. I don't want to say much and spoil much. They're going to announce co-op. This is an incredible trailer. I hope you enjoy it. They better announce co-op. Please, co-op. The more co -op. we know about Salazar oh. Slytherin and the Dark Arts, the better prepared we'll be. If either of you uses dark magic, I will notify the headmaster immediately. Uh-oh. Unforgivable curses are so named for a reason. A spell that could save your life shouldn't be unforgivable. The dark arts True. seem harmless until it's too late. None of us will be able to avoid dark magic forever. What do we do now? It's up to us. I can teach you Crucio, or I can cast it on you. I'm ready. ready. Crucio! You've made your choice. Two of you done. The two of us. Does that mean we get co-op? Come on. I want co-op. Oh, a dragon. Wait, or a, a. What is that like? Invincible on a diet? The hell is this? Hey, an anorexic invincible. Best draw? Yeah, I, I don't know. The, I don't know who that is. I don't know a lot of the extended war of Harry Potter. New Borderlands. That's I never right, played it's time Borderlands. To step the world of Borderlands now. Joining me is the founder of Gearbox Entertainment Company, Randy Pitchford. Randy, great to see you here. Thanks for the intro, uh, Jeff. I think a lot of these guys probably know me from my work at Gearbox creating Borderlands. Any Borderlands fans in the house? Well, I got good news. I know uh, some of you hardcore folks saw the leak, uh, but I'm here to officially <laughs> announce new tales from the Borderlands. I love whenever they uh, uh, remember tales they just the acknowledge it. New tales from the Borderlands. Yeah, you guys saw the leak. New story. Here we are. It is. You know, I loved the original game, and so that's why we got some of the original storytellers and writers that were back in the day at Telltale yeah. and developed an all new storyline with all new characters uh, created uh, uh, with uh, production from Gearbox Studio Quebec. Uh, it's an all new experience. Experience. And uh, we're here to show it for the first time today. You guys want to check it out? Yes, I do. Let's do Let's it. See coming it. soon, too, right? That's I never right. played uh, Borderlands. Coming in October of this year. October okay. this year, all platforms. Awesome. Well, let's take a look, Randy. This is exciting. New Tales from the Borderlands. First at Gamescom. Let's see it. Most stories in the Borderlands start bloody. They end bloody, too. Sometimes, all it takes to change the galaxy is a trio of losers trying to get through a bad day. 
We are in the middle of a TDR invasion. Oh my god. Leave immediately. This area is now under TDR jurisdiction. They think there was a vault key being kept on the station. If we can find whatever's in that vault, what is this futuristic does, Margaret Thatcher? What the hell lives. is that? Oh my god. Y'all see like that bad. shit? Like, really bad. Tidio has many guns. Talking guns. Guns with legs. I'm gonna blast you so freaking fast. Hey, we have those in real life now. You guys see the dog yeah, with the gun? <laughs> I always wanted to change the universe for the better. And now we actually can. But more importantly, we'll be drowning in gas. Are you people like this? <laughs> I guess for if you happen to see any corpses along the way, uh, don't worry about them. They're just, uh, yeah, don't worry about them. Maybe this is cool for people that are fans of this series. I've never played it before, so I can't really say. Come back to the city and join the deadliest spectacle of this season. Yeah, it, it is. It's not no trash series. About a I don't species know. that survived millennia. Homo neanderthalensis. Homo rhodesiensis. Oh. Homo erectus. All of them wiped out by the deadliest species of all. Us. I am Astrid. This is the new arena. And okay. my advice for you is stay alive. Uh. Every day you fight for survival, but today you fight for glory. Anyone can be a warrior. What makes you different is the spirit of a champion. Let out the pain. I never played this shit, so I have nothing to say. I, I don't know about that. Yeah, I don't really know. It's, yeah, it's, it's Kool-Aid, yeah, the whole time. That's what it is. Do you know what this guy reminds me of? Red Bull gives How many you boomers wings. remember Troglodar? That dragon? So you want to join me? Trogdor, yeah, yeah, Trogdor, there it is. Okay, alright. What the hell is this? In turn, Sign I'm up out. And be a part of my crew in Tortuga. Ah. Product not yet rated. Unless you can actually sail the ship and, and, and ram another ship, so I'm not about it. Raid Shadow Legend? Oh, Raid Woo. Escape. So we have Tarkov, but funny faces. Go goofy face Tarkov. Alright, alright, cool. There's a lot of games coming out like this. Oh, that's a lot. That's a big when one. When they see this glorious end, they will come for us. To save Is this the destiny? It's crazy, it's crazy to think like these guys made, like I played Marathon back in the day. 
<laughs> and, and they're thinking this now. That's nuts. Wait, this isn't Destiny? Oh, it is. Wait, what the fuck? I, I don't know. I never played Hello the game. Hello again. There's this a lot of people Saturday, that like it a lot. The Gamescom Awards will be handed out to the winners of the best games on the show floor. Only How submitted games that? showing at Gamescom How will be eligible to be nominated. How we and know the awards will good? be streamed on all Gamescom channels, so make sure to tune in. How we know if they're going to be the best? I'm allowed to hand out four awards. I'm very, very excited about that. And I would say, let's jump straight into it, starting with the most wanted PC game. Here are your nominees. Metal Hellsinger. System Shock. No. Warhammer 40,000 Dark Tide. Maybe. That's and it. The Probably Warhammer. Is Metal Hellsinger. And here really? to accept the award okay. is Sheila Vikstrom, executive producer at The Outsiders. The stage is yours. Thank you so much. Wow, this is a lot of people. Uh, I was practicing my speech a lot, but of course, you know, when it's um, as much people as there is right now, you'll blank. Um, but I want to say that I am honored to receive this award on behalf of my team. Uh -huh. The team behind Metal is an am amazing bunch of people that I'm so lucky to be working with every day. And the truth is, making games is super hard. When I started out, I don't think I really realized how hard. And what I learned is that focusing on compassion, kindness, and empathy just as much as any other craft the game's in about games killing people. would be the key to successful game development. And it's precisely those qualities that my team possess and why I'm so privileged to be working with them every day. I love you guys at home. I miss you so much. So what I want to say to you, my yeah. industry friends and colleagues, is treat each other with heart, kindness, and respect every day. Make games with humanity. Thank you so much. Congratulations once again. Okay. And Jeff, back to you. Thank you, Mally. While well, the world premiere train keeps going, it's time to move to the world of Sonic. Any Sonic Hedgehog fans out there? I love going Sonic fast. Sonic has had a pretty good year with the uh, Sonic 2 movie, which was a ton of fun earlier this year. They well, should make Sonic, Sonic 2 Frontiers an unlockable in character. And we've got Sonic. a brand new trailer for you and confirmation of the release date, too. Check this out. They should do it. They should just add it in. Just say fuck it. Like, make it like a secret character. Submit. Your reckless actions endanger the world. Okay. We got the all right. Okay. I always hated Amy. Remember she had that time stop bullshit? Oh. I feel like it's a little bit too serious for Sonic. Like the best thing about the uh, the, the new Sonic movies is that they don't take themselves too seriously. They're fucking. It's a Sonic. There you it's go. It funny, is right? This year, Sonic Frontiers. All right. Well, now 
Another European studio wanted to use Gamescom O&L as a platform to announce Jim Carrey. Yeah, true. Experience. experiences comes from a French studio. Check this out. Mm. It's Raft. It's Subnautica. It's Echo the Dolphin. We it's leave a whale. so many things behind us. Objects. Memories. Mistakes. Okay. Shoot it. They sink in time. Touch the bottom and go to sleep. Silence is full of ghosts. Very somber. And here, voices can only come from the deep. Deep under the waves. What is this, ASMR, the video game? Guys, it's time for That's the goats. Deep. Ready for some goats? Goats? No live goats today, but we are Why not? here to talk about Goat Simulator 3. We got to announce this back at what? Summer Game Fest. And now it's time to see the gameplay of Goat Simulator 3 oh, for boy. the first time. Let's check this one out. Oh, boy. Wait, there's been two more of these? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, the goats are driving cars? November 17th, that has literally about everything you could imagine in it. Uh, Goat Simulator 3. All right. A lot of people ask me how I got started in the industry. And what I loved doing when I was a kid with my brother, we would play PC adventure games. And I grew up playing classic LucasArts and Sierra adventure games. You guys remember Monkey Island by chance? Well, I am so excited because there is a new Monkey Island in development right now. Ron Gilbert, the series creator, is back. You may have heard about it. Return to Monkey Island. And tonight at Gamescom, I am so excited that we get to announce the release date. Or actually, I don't. We get to go to Stan to tell us the release date. Check this out. Hello friends, it's your old pal Stan, coming to you through the magic of marketing to let you know that your search for quality entertainment is about to bear fruit. But Sorry I wouldn't about be that. doing my job if I just drop the details on you without a little build-up. I, I want to make sure you, you guys got to see him. Fine dining establishments you'll be visiting, like this one. Get lost. And if escapism is your cup of flavor, you can't do much better than this exotic and extremely remote island. Stay back! How did you find me? Return to Monkey Island launches September 19th, which happens to be International Talk Like a Pirate Day. But you don't have to wait. You can order it right now, before it's even out. Something we in the marketing industry call a pre-order. As a bonus, I'm ready to unload this shipment of beautiful horse armor to anyone who pre-orders Return to Monkey Island. 
It'll look fantastic in your inventory. Oi, you missed a spot. I've got to go now. I've got a lot of irons and a lot of fires. You know how it is. But I'll be back to steal every scene I'm in in return back to, to Monkey base. Island. I'll see you there. All pre-order customers will receive the exclusive horse armor item in their inventory. Please note that the horse armor has no practical use in game and in no way will contribute to the gameplay puzzles or narrative of Return to Monkey Island. Okay, that's funny then. I like it. Yeah, I support it then. Yeah, okay. Oh my god. Yeah, that's uh, that actually is funny. Away. I like I that. Horse armor okay. Does absolutely nothing. It just sits in your inventory. The only uh, that okay, was that, that one All good right, one. Now, let's turn to the world of unknown worlds. The creators of Subnautica as we've teased, they are here today at Gamescom to unveil a brand new IP, and it's a departure from Subnautica. It's a brand new turn-based sci-fi game, and uh, we're going to reveal it for the first time right here. Actually, special guest is. Let's check this out. Let's see it. Is it Space Hi, Nautica? Hi, I'm Brandon Sanderson. You might know me as the author of the Mistborn series, the Stormlight Archive, or as the guy who finished Robert Jordan's Wheel of Time. Over the last few years, I've been working closely with my friends at Unknown Worlds on the exciting project we're revealing today. Let's see it. You, of course, know Unknown Worlds for creating immersive and fantastical worlds like the incredible Subnautica series. When they reached out to me, I was absolutely thrilled to help craft the expansive sci-fi universe in which their next game is set. This secret has been a hard one to keep, and we're so excited to finally show you what we've created together. So, without further ado, this is Moonbreaker. Keep this civilized. Welcome to the party. Why don't they move? Till the end. Needles up. Stay alive. Wait, what? This will be over real quick. <laughs> oh, 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 me. Get over here. <laughs> It doesn't matter how much epic music you play, it's still a turn-based game. It, it's still a turn-based game, guys. The crowd goes wild! That's crazy. You can paint them. This is how you know the, there's actually a recession going on. Is that people are literally so poor, they can't paint Warhammer figurines anymore, and they made a game to do it inside of the game. Like, that, that's, this is 100% confirmation we got a recession going on, gentlemen. Let's be honest. And joining me from Unknown oh. Worlds is Charlie Cleveland. Charlie, Moonbreaker, it's real, and it's so different than Subnautica. So yes, tell us, it is. this departure, uh, you guys like to kind of reinvent yourselves every game, right? Yeah, so people thought we were kind of crazy for making Subnautica after making Natural Selection. We went from a strategy shooter to a pacifist underwater game, survival. Uh, so I feel like we've done this before. We, you know, we love changing genres. But I'm hoping, you know, our Subnautica fans will still come along for playing a digital miniatures game. I hope. Well, it's so cool. A digital miniatures game. I can game. respect uh, everyone changing. Loves miniatures, but how do you translate that into gameplay? What is the gameplay? No, I, I think that's really so, good. Uh, I like kind that. kind of channeling like a uh, Guardians of the Doing Galaxy something or totally Firefly different. kind of feel. So you can see that from the colorful art It's not my vibe, but still. Um, so you choose a captain and ten crew and you build a roster, kind of like a traditional miniatures game. Wow. And every unit in the game is really like strange and special and kind of game breaking. So um, it's all yeah, game you deploy breaking units and, and you are. move them around on the battlefield and you get all these crazy game changing powers, kind of like Hearthstone meets XCOM, kind of. 
But I've never I, I played love, I mean, you see the gameplay here. It looks great, and uh, it's coming soon, as we said, uh, in the September, so you're not early access. You're not going to wait long. But the thing I want to get to is the painting, painting of miniatures, which we saw a tease of in the trailer. And I know you actually, painting was cathartic for you sort of during the, the pandemic, right? I used to paint Yeah, miniatures. so the painting, I mean, you can't have I a didn't miniatures have a game girlfriend. without painting. And during the lockdown, I just found myself like learning to draw and just like just zoning out and feeling re really relaxed when the world was basically falling apart around us. And we really tried to capture that feeling. It, it's not like Photoshop or like special technical tools or anything like that. You, we just simulate washes, dry brushing. We've got decals. Um, Does the paint like run out halfway through? Real miniature. And I have to say, because everyone is surprised by it, like all the miniatures you see painted in the game are all painted with the tool. So it's like actually pretty powerful. Amazing. Well, it's so cool that uh, you're revealing it here. If you actually paint the wrong part, you have to start over. Right? It is. Like it's the real one. You guys are the first ones to play it. Wow. And uh, oh yeah, it's more. <laughs> We're over in the Crafton booth. Okay. Crafton booth. And for everyone else around the world, they're not yes. going to wait long, right? Yes. We'll be on Steam Playtest in September. Okay. We have a couple open weekends, and then we're going to be launching um, into Steam Early Access September 29th. So it's wow. really It's close. lit. Only a month away, Moonbreaker. Charlie, thank you so much for Thanks. coming all the way out here. Thank you. To, uh, I know you had a tough time My pleasure. Here, but thank you, everyone. It. All right. Charlie Cleveland, virtuals? Unknown Worlds. Thank you so much, Charlie. That's a good point. Yeah, how do we know they're miniatures? And now it's time to reveal another game with a very catchy tune in the trailer. Check this out. What? What? <laughs> They're on steak! <laughs> oh no! I feel like this is the kind of game for the people that self-diagnose themselves with mental disorders and put them on their Twitter bio. If that's you, this game is your favorite. To be honest, the combat was kind of interesting. I wanted to see more of the combat. That's kind of cool. Inspired by the familiar story of Pinocchio, Lies of P is a new action Souls-like game that is coming out from Neil Wiz. And you have guide Pinocchio on his unrelenting journey to become human. This game looks I mean, absolutely great, and we've got a brand new gameplay trailer to show you. And this game is also coming Souls -like. to Xbox Game okay, Pass on day one. Let's check it out. Let's see it. It's not that, not that Dimesia game, right? Whatever the hell was. Honor great writer, Carlo Codoli. I don't know who that is. Can you hear me? Yes. Oh. I hope this reaches you. A time machine? This city is falling apart. Chaos. Madness. Death. And there might be no going back. Ooh. Ooh. But you can change that. It depends on the choice you make. Truth. Or lie. Okay. Okay, okay. She got monkey pox, yeah. Too much of you. Let's see the Souls like game. Come on. But I don't have a choice. Okay. We got fire paper. Please. I think there should be a law where you can only show gameplay in trailers. You only can show gameplay. Finally, we meet, son. 
very the cool idea. <laughs> the light shines brightest in the darkest of times. All right, buddy, I'm here for you. Don't worry. Okay. Don't give up. Keep oh, okay, okay. All right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Gameplay looks looks reasonable. Your destiny. Yeah, that's fine. Looking good so far. Yeah, it's not that bad. Hey, you. Hi. Yes, you. Do you have fun? <laughs> that guy. Fear of missing Gamescom. You just watch the yeah. Asmongold reacts Gamescom later. Gamescom is everywhere you want. Gamescom now. Register now. Wow. Do normal That's people right. have that many teeth? All the fun of Gamescom is available That's from crazy. wherever you are online, obviously. And, well, in case you're wondering who that wow. little guy is... That's Epi, and he's on a mission to save the game's converse from the evil future. And if you want to help him, check out the Epic section at gamescom.global. You can solve quests and win prizes, so take part and help Epi to save the game's converse. But first, I want to tell you more about uh, some of the great program we have for this week. And it's quite a schedule, so please bear with me. There is, for example, the Gamescom Studio by IGN featuring game spotlights, like off -stage, death interviews, just like and all insights into this year's phone. Gamescom. So please make sure to check that out so you don't miss anything. So just watching TV and behind also, stage. the awesome <laughs> indie showcase is back. Take it away. Featuring the newest, most original, crazy indie games here on Friday afternoon at 5.30 p.m. That's what I did whenever, whenever so Rich started I'm doing really the, the casting. To it. And something Expo. I'm really looking forward to, uh, <laughs> Thank to, God. to is, uh, is, is, the, is the cosplay contest on Sunday where the super creative cosplay community takes center stage and this is absolutely one of my favorites so make sure she's to not a not gamer miss i can out. tell it because she's a woman right watch. and for yeah, more true. updates follow at gamescom on all platforms and well true brother now it is almost time to introduce our next guest but sadly she couldn't make it since she is a tad far away they, they so destroyed the lich see. king she Andrew sent us a video, and, and so now all the incels are free on the internet hello gamescom I'm ESA astronaut Samantha Cristoforetti, currently flying at around 27,000 kilometers an hour, 400 There's kilometers no way, above your head moving. on board of the International Space Station. Today, I come to you to say bravo to the games industry. We see how many space games you've been creating recently. Those missions you send your players on aren't just great fun. They create curiosity, interest, and the love of space exploration from on? gamers around the world. As we look towards returning to the moon and on to Mars on with our moon. ambitious Terra Nova program, humanity's spaceflight capabilities will be in part thanks to the games industry. That's probably Who true. Knows? Perhaps even you will be among us here at ESA for the journey. Exploring space virtually isn't just great fun. It's having real world impacts that lead us all closer to the stars. So on behalf of everyone at ESA, bravo. Keep creating, keep innovating, and keep playing. I want to go to the moon. This is ESA astronaut Samantha Cristoforetti wishing everyone a wonderful Gamescom from the International Space Station. Oh my god. How she stopped doing that though? That's Wouldn't they worry about, like, accidentally hitting something? That's cool. That's fake. Oh, it's fake. Yeah, they did that downstairs at, like, this Hollywood place. It's like, it's just a bunch of air, right? That's why her hair was up so much. Because it's hair, but it, it's, it's like, they're blowing her hair up. Yeah. 
fake, bro. A new world. Survival game? Kill him. Kill the guy on the on the right. Get him. Throw the spear at him. Don't you play this trailer with no fucking combat. Don't you do this. You son of a bitch. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. Maybe we should make well, them a lot where they can't games for combat. Gamescom Opening Night Live, uh, one of the things I was most impressed with this year is there are a lot of European studios that yeah. want to debut games here. They're not allowed also to a lot of brand new IP, brand new worlds, and we're going to introduce one of those map. to you right now, and I think you're going to get pretty excited about it. Check out this world premiere. What is it? Is that an oven mitt? The sand has memories. Memories of our past. When gods walked this world. Does it say truth will liberate you? And our heroes stood amongst them. But the gods' vanity grew. And in their struggle... Some minnow, yeah, something like that. We were cast away. Okay. Only remnants of these stories remain. In the sand. In the ruins of this shattered, broken world. Just jump over it. That's convenient. Uh-oh. Okay. The combat's gonna be that good, right? Okay, we got the Ivy Sword. Soul Caliber, I like that. Even in ruins, we endure. We won't let go. I mean, to be fair, it was kind of obvious. Like, you could see now, that that bridge had no ourselves. structural integrity. It was a big mistake that Sandboy made. And face gods. I mean, that looks really cool. Like, it, it, it does. This is, this looks cool. Okay. Atlas Fallen coming not, in 2023. Not now, a classic strategy game that I remember playing in the late 90s is Homeworld. Anyone else play that back in the day? Homeworld. Great PC space RTS. Well, a brand new Homeworld is coming out next year. <laughs> no. uh, and Everybody's too young in the audience. They're like, wait, what? From Homeworld. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Homeworld, like.
Bro, we played Fortnite growing up. Come on, what do you mean? Okay, Boomer. It was a simple perimeter scan. Escorting resources. But we were ambushed by Kalan Raiders. It's entirely comprised of game footage. Fighters were no problem, but the missile frigates were a different story. The command got clever. One wing used cover to keep themselves safe on approach. That makes sense. Target acquired. While another group found a tunnel in the structure to sneak behind them. We're on the run, talk with the range. Get you up. Let's do this. It worked. But just before a carrier battle group arrived, we scrambled bombers. L game or W game? I feel like it's. Attacking capital ships. I'm not a. I'm not a big fan. L game. Protected the resources while they hauled in the goods. Which meant we could roll out assault frigates. Cleared hot. Let's take it to them. Stay on them. Break contact. The Raiders weren't pushovers, but command countered their hit and run tactics. What? The way their carrier exploded? Beautiful. And we even grabbed a little souvenir. That missile frigate is ours now. Wow. Elden Ring DLC. Homeworld 3 in the first half of 2023. Here we go. Here now, we today go. is a big day, speaking of 3s, For because Elden it's Ring. the version 3.0 update to Genshin Impact, uh, which is oh, an incredible what? action RPG from Hoyoverse. Well, today we've got an exclusive new look at version 3.0 in the new got... Rainforest <laughs> Nation, as well as a <laughs> really? of a mysterious I'm ancient ready. civilization. I'm ready, guys. Found deep inside the desert. Let's take a look at this world premiere. You mean it's a gotcha impact? All right, let's see it. Here we go. Wow. I watched somebody play Genshin Impact the other day. It looked pretty good. I think I'm going to start playing it. Yeah, I, I think I might as well. Let's see what it's like. Bro, can you believe they copied the tree from Elden Ring? Like, everybody does that now. <laughs> Can't see. I'll uproot you. Go back to the cat girl. You know this shit took like a million dollars or a hundred million dollars to make? Can you believe that? This, oh my god. It's a new bass. Oh my god. Cool, that's crazy, wow. There's like four people in there. Everybody knows weebs don't what go an outside. What absolutely beautiful game. So and that's obviously all they from wouldn't Hoyoverse, be in the crowd. Because they also have Honkai Star Rail in development. It's a wow. grand interstellar adventure with strategic turn-based combat. And now we're going to take a new look at the story and adventure that awaits you in Honkai Star Rail. That would be really cool, but like I'm out of it the moment you say it's turn-based. Sekiro 2? Yeah. They could probably make Sekiro 2 make sense. You know, with like that one ending. <laughs> of five people, three must pay a price. You are not one of them. 
Jin Yuan. Genjo is in danger. This man, he... The train is about to make the jump. Hold on, everyone. Hello again! It is now time for our next Gamescom Award. And here are your nominees for the most wanted Microsoft Xbox game. I thought it said microtransaction for a second. The Dark Pictures, The Devil in Me. Ah. The Last Case of Benedict Fox. Who gives a fuck? Metal Hellsinger. Well, it can't win twice, right? It's gotta be the first one. And the winner is... The Last Case of Benedict Fox! Wait, what? I got it wrong? And here to accept the award is Bartek Leszczakowski. Oh my god, I'm creative dumb. Creative director at Plot Twist. I'm so dumb. Uh, thank you. It's uh, quite of a shocker for us. Uh, we just love uh, good Metroidvania games. And uh, we are working hard on uh, making Benedict Fox just that. And I would like to thank uh, Xbox team uh, for their support. and. Uh, Rogue team for being the best publisher ever. And especially, I would like to thank my team uh, in Krakow. They are crazy talented, and uh, my hands hold the award, but uh, their hands make the game. Dziękuję Wam bardzo. Thank you. Oh, that's nice to Congratulations say. Congratulations once again, that's the last nice case of say. Benedict Fox. And Jeff, back to you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Melly. Uh, anyone here a fan of Justin Roiland? Rick and Morty? <laughs> well, he's got a brand They're new like, game, who? which you may have seen at Xbox's show in June, called High on Life. It is coming to Xbox <laughs> and Game Pass in December, and they wanted to send us just a oh, great no. gameplay clip. Uh, you're going to enjoy this. Uh, talking guns in a boss fight, and that's all I'm going to say to set this up. I think you're going to really... Oh, we saw this. This is a trip. Check this out. World premiere of High on Life. Yeah. I'm Pickle Rick! Come on! Say the line! We're, 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 we're hurting you! No! Fuck you! Okay. Jesus, it's so gross you even win in there! Bro, these guns are wild. So, like, you just shoot her? Switch guns. I don't want to watch this pistol shit. Not just all about stabbing. Well, I'm mostly all about stabbing and tethering, but I can also deflect attacks. Then do it. I'll slice the fucking dead. I'll cut their fucking heads off. I'll fucking I'll rip their limbs off. Fucking do everything. I'm gonna fucking cut right into them. Sounds like Quinn. Fucking asshole. It sounds like Quinn. What the fuck? They need to make the guns more dynamic in this game. Like, if you have talking guns, why don't you have playable guns? Like, the, it, it's like this is a. This makes me want to go kill an Arc Nemesis mob in Poe. Honestly, I don't think they were. We're new at this, and it was pretty easy to kill them all. That that all right? That was cool. 
Sh just stay alive. I think she's basically done for. Probably want to go up on the thing. And see. Oh my god. Oh my god, she's doing the. It's Cthulhu! I'm gonna be honest, like, I think the idea is cool. I just think that the gameplay is sleeper. Straight up, like, it just seems super repetitive. Like, I I, I don't know. Do you see that? It's just super repetitive. What? When? Mm hmm? Mm hmm. What is it? Wait, what are you. Don't eat that. Come on, dude. Dude! You know she's gonna eat it. What? Yep. No! No! Told you. Gross. Okay, all right, what's this? This is a new Warhammer game. We watched this before. We've seen the trailer for this one before. What do y'all think? Oh shit, it's Tower Fantasy. Oh wow. You know my combat rating's like almost 34k. I got all my shit leveled up to 45 yesterday. Big dick. I'm at 10k. Spend more money. All right, that's a did, see. This is a good one. Anybody that hasn't played V Rising should play V Rising. It's actually lit. We had a, a all craft with the developers. To the infinity. Oh, level infinite. That makes sense. You've been selected from among thousands of candidates. Really? Hey, Cutter. To join the Lynx family. You're from Earth, right? Oh, this is, is this like one of those chainmail things? It's an opportunity. You ever miss it? Caution. So you've been randomly selected. Lynx. Making the world a better place. Zero, oh, ultimate zero gravity space. What they say about work in space is true. Raft in space. There's something real special here. You don't have power here. You never will. Look around you. We're expendable. I can, I can hear them in the walls. They ain't a tray lagging. Dancing between the ribs of a ship. Gaze out at the rest of the human race, buzzing in the distance. That's when the sky fills up with flames. That's the way things go. Wow, this game's got a lot of really good reviews. I wonder if it's actually good. I don't know, I mean, like, I, I, it's hard to say. That's a big cock. Is that Ronnie Rotten? Robbie Rotten. Not Ronnie. Now we're talking. Bro, like. my friends I feel like so many games now are built around an idea and not a quality of gameplay like I always see like these games that have like these really abstract and like eccentric ideas and, and like there's not like gameplay that follows that yeah too many artists not enough gamers 
quirky indie shit. I'm okay with it, but it's gotta have the good. It's gotta have the game plan, man. Bring it together now. Like, I mean, Hollow Knight was in the game, right? But it's got the gameplay. That's what it's about. It's about the gameplay. Like, uh, Hades gameplay. First announced back at the Game Awards, Telltale's next project is based on the Prime Video series, The Expanse. Well, we showed you a little bit of the trailer at the Game Awards to set up the world. Now you're going to get a first glimpse at the gameplay with this behind-the-scenes clip. Enjoy. What's that? What is it? Uh -oh. Uh -oh. If I see another space game, I'm gonna wanna go. Sh I'm gonna. I wanna get a fucking spaceship to the to the sun. If I see another fucking spaceship game, man. I've had about enough of this shit. One of those universes that has a ton of opportunities to tell great stories. Guys, it's okay. I'll go at night. It won't be that hot. Is the zero G stuff that we've been doing. A big part of when we're making the game, not only are we thinking about the characters, we also have to think about how can we evolve the genre in any way that will make players excited to be part of this universe and feel like they're engaging in something rather than just being a passive audience member. You'll figure something out. I know you will. It's okay. actually been a really interesting thing as an actor to explore some of her more vulnerable sides that by the time we meet her in the series, they've been cauterized. <laughs> Because this is That's a good word to use for emotional vulnerabilities. I like that. Across. That's clever. You'll need me if you want any chance of unloading it. Sorry, Baldy. The craziness of a uh, exploded ship that now constitutes several parts in a mass that you can move them on. And balancing that out against almost like you're excavating the story. That's a personal story. Those are people, those are characters, and you are now among the ghosts. Whatever they were doing right before they died, being a scavenger, pretty dark job. We're really excited about how it feels to both play and experience the story in the game. Speaking of adapting things from one medium to another, here's a film adaptation that uh, into a game, which I don't think you would have ever expected. Check this Lord out. of the Rings. Stranger Things, what is this? Guardians of the Galaxy. What the fuck? You play as Jason? Why would you ever open the door? Why would you ever open the door if it's three psycho clowns? Uh, really? Killer clowns from outer space. Very cool. Where's the gameplay? Very cool. Where's Ghost the game? I want to see clowns. the gameplay. We got it all tonight at opening Let's night go. live. Uh, now we've got another brand new game announced from a European it? publisher for a sci-fi action adventure. Here we go. Let me guess. It's in space. We always wondered if we're alone in the universe. Yeah, Elon. Yeah, what's the Observed ETA on the sun? Explored, the sun rocket. But found nothing. Yeah, I'm ready to go right now. Until now. Okay. All right. It has been six months since the alien object known it's as the Mystic Twitter Eagle first. suddenly appeared above Earth's atmosphere. Personal log, sentient contact assessment, and response team. 
Kate, we have an issue. What happened? Power supply failing. Sensors offline. I'm switching to backup generators. All of this looks incredible. Where's the fucking gameplay? That? Where is the fuck? Like, I want to see some big dick gameplay. Now we're going to talk about Gamescom Goes Green, which is an initiative that has made Gamescom the first climate-friendly gaming event in the world. The core event and this show, Opening Night Live, okay. I'm happy to say, are 100% climate neutral for the first time, and that's something we all should be very proud of. How is that possible? You how guys could, are part of that, that too. Be now, as part of this initiative, Gamescom, along with the United Nations Environmental Pro Program Initiative, Playing for the Planet, are going to give out the first ever Gamescom Goes Green Award to the best sustainability concept from an exhibitor here at Gamescom. Wouldn't the it be the worst game because it would use the least amount of electricity? Yuki and the Indie Arena booth. And to find out the winner, let's turn it over to Melly. Thank you, I mean, thank just... you, Jeff. And yes, the winner of this year's Gamescom Goes Green Award. Which game is the worst? Yuki. And here to accept the award is Wait, Dr. I don't even know what game this is. CEO of Yuki. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you, Gamescom, for this wonderful award. It's brilliant to be recognized. Thank you to the Yuki team who works so hard every day to be greener. Uh, and thank you to the UN's Playing for the Planet I don't Alliance know what it is. for inspiring us to change. You know, it's so fantastic to see these amazing game worlds that we're going to play in over the next year. Yeah. But you know, we only have one planet to live on and we only have Not one lifetime to, every we've seen. to make a change and to protect that planet so that we can continue to play our games so everybody whether you're a player or a business can make one small change starting tomorrow and together we can play more games together true i'm gonna burn a tire tomorrow thank you very much Thank you, Joe, and congratulations once again to yeah, you. Yeah, let's light a tire up. And remember, it is not only the organizers or exhibitors that can go green. All of you can also make a change by donating to the Gamescom Forest. So plant your Gamescom tree today. Jeff, back to you. Awesome. Thank you very much, Melly. Congratulations to Yuki. Uh, now it's time to announce a brand Stop new game the from ocean. a new studio of industry veterans about that? working on an ambitious new RPG. Here's the first tease. I played Raft. I saw what happened out there. Industry veterans have brought you Fallout, Skyrim, Outer Worlds. Oh, this is actually really big. These guys are great. In the crux of reality, there exists two lies. One before the shadow, and one behind the eye. Okay. Okay. Don't you fucking end the trailer here. Do not even think about... That son of a bitch. Lots of news here at Gamescom. All right, wow. Let's talk about Xbox and Age of Empires 4 that continues to expand. Now we have news on the next civilizations joining the battle as free DLC. If you want to learn more about what's happening with Age of Empires 4, tune into the Xbox booth stream for developer interviews on Thursday. But right now, here's that announcement from Age of Empires 4. My mom would play Age of Empires 2, and I would get announcements whenever she would win a game. And whenever she'd win a game, There's more than one way I would come downstairs about. immediately and after and ask her to make me food. Find their own path. I'm like, how you doing? She's like, I'm doing great. And I'm like, All right, can I get, can you make me a steak? It worked. 
Whether you strike from afar or ambush up close, the Malians will use wit and strategy to outmaneuver their opponents and gain the advantage on the battlefield. <laughs> With powerful siege tools and the ability to rally large, you know the Ottomans were the, the first Ottoman people to use siege uh, to uh, siege cannons effectively defense. in the Battle of Constantinople. On like that, on that degree, it was a big deal. 1453. Yeah. of war beat, how will you emerge victorious? Really? Because they had massive ass fucking cannons. History is in the making. You gotta remember, and like back then, like they were all about has science. Just begun. That's cool. Time to head to Gotham. You guys excited for Gotham Knights? I don't know, am I? Well, you don't have to wait long. It is coming this October, and Batgirl, Nightwing, Robin, and Red Hood are going to take over in Gotham Knights. You're probably wondering about the story. Who are the villains? Well, we've got a lot to share in this brand new trailer, and also some exciting news. The release date is going to be a little earlier than you expected. Check this out. Jim Gordon never gave up on anything. That's why Gotham City is still here. It's why I'm still here. And I've known for a while now that someday, like him, I'd have to work with you. Better be good. I've seen plenty of criminals in my career, but nothing could have prepared me for this. It's not Arnold, is it, Mr. Freeze? Well, well, if it isn't Brat Girl. Gotham City is at her weakest. Okay. There's blood in the water, and the sharks are circling. There's no way that's Bane, They're right? All making their move. Play nice. It is Mr. Freeze. Holy but shit. We aren't going to give up. Wait, zombies? A storm has risen over Gotham. Nothing can stop it. I feel like they should have gotten Arnold to play the voice for that character. They should have had him play it. Who gives a fuck? That would have been so good. Your skills. Your knowledge. Your adaptability. You got my back? This biopic is based on a true story. My story. Soon, the world will feel the cold as I do. I got one last little surprise for you. Come to watch the show, Red Hood. Nah, I'm just here to kick your ass. Pretty good trailer, right? October 21st now for Gotham Knights. All right, now it's time to announce a brand new game from a new studio. Okay. The global announcement of the ambitious new adventure game developed by Everstone Games. Everstone. It's called Where Winds Meet. It's an interactive open world RPG featuring action, adventure, and martial arts set in a turbulent time in the Northern Song Dynasty. The combat looks really cool. Check out this announcement of Where Winds Meet. Let's see it. It's an MMO. Come on. 
Very nice. Graphics are appealing. Let's see what the actual game looks like. She drank poison or some shit? Oh, 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 okay, okay, all right, all right. Oh! 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 Okay! There's no backstab? Is it multiplayer though? Like, yeah, I said it's multiplayer. Let's see a group. Like, this is cool. Okay. Badass. Yeah, bro, this looks cool. I would have never guessed this was an MMO open world game. Where's the fucking, like, where's the, is there, are the raids? Like, what, what is this? Like, where's some other people? Like, it's only one guy. It's not? I thought he said it was. Did he say it wasn't an MMO? What the hell did I hear? He said open world RPG. I, I must have heard wrong. Never mind. Uh, regardless, I think that the... Uh just like the framing of everything in that was fucking cool. Where wins I like that. again. So much new IP tonight. It's really cool. Yeah, right. that is cool. I Back like when it. we started O&L in 2019, a very special guest joined me here in person uh, to close the show. And this year, when I told him that we were going to be back here live in person, he said, well, I got to take part in some way. It's Miyazaki. Uh, so please He's announce uh, the game. say hello to my good friend, Hideo Kojima. Mr. Kojima. Okay. All right. Thank you, Jeff. ゲーム図工の皆さん、え、こんにちは。小島秀夫です。え、僕は今ですね、え、ゲームの制作、え、ゲームの新作に取り組んでおりますが、オッケー。今回は別のニュースのお知らせとなります。あ、モーティングサプ
Like, I, I think that'd be really interesting, especially in the context Last of, like, you know, how Open things have been Live, now. We announced Park Beyond That's from cool. Living Entertainment and Bandai Namco. And this year, they've got an awesome uh, booth experience for those of you here in person. And for those of you at home, we've got a brand new trailer that shows you more of this incredible amusement park simulation game. Amusement park simulation. Can you, can you kill the, to the people? You, like, you like make a, a, a fucking a roller coaster and just woohoo! In like a pit of fire. Here is a little something to inspire you. It's Willy Wonka. Mm -hmm. What if it just shoots him into like a mountain? Great job, guys. This has a lot of potential. Thanks, Willy Wonka. Hmm. <laughs> Couldn't we go a step beyond? Ta da! That doesn't look like it at all. It's not like that. It's not like his. Yeah, it doesn't look like that in any in any capacity. Mm -hmm. wow. What about you? Will you go beyond your imagination? Talk beyond coming soon. So much fun. I love the diversity of games we have here. Amusement Park Simulator. I love Theme Park back yeah, in the day. Yeah, I love the different, all the different space uh, games. From Limbic and Bandai Namco. All right, now it's time to share another Say special Olympic. announcement here at Gamescom. Not a game, but a concept car. That's right, it's here at Gamescom, and I got to catch up with Oliver Heimer, the head of mini design. Let's check it out. All right, I'm over here at the mini booth with Oliver. This is the mini concept Aceman reveal. This looks so cool. I'm glad you like it. Well, let's take a look and learn more in this trailer. Sorry. Wait, so is it like a... So I can, can you dr drive this? Like I, is it in a Pokemon? It Oh, this looks so cool. I have so many questions for you, Oliver. Uh, first of all, I want to ask you about this partnership, uh, a car with gaming features and Pokemon. How did this come together? They should have had like yeah, a clip of, all, of them driving Gamescom, around, you know? yeah. playing Pokemon is, Go um, while they're driving. One of the core events. You know, and just uh, like running over culture. Pikachus and, and like, you know, uh, Pidgeys and shit like that. It would have been way better. It's such a great event. <laughs> and the Pokemon Company International, and we have a lot in common. We're both iconic brands. And Mini is more than a car. It's a character. You partner to explore the world. And the world of Pokemon is full of unique characters with special powers. So we share a love for distinctive design and strong values. Well, I'm going to ask you your favorite Pokemon in a minute. But first, <laughs> I want to ask about the gaming features. We saw a little bit in the trailer. Tell us, break it down. Why does this appeal to gamers? So. First of all, it's DLC. all about the Ace Men's gaming features. It's designed to be playful as the brand is. The Pokemon mode welcomes you inside of the car, and then you can connect your gaming console to your Mini. And all you notice Imagine you get in an Uber and it's one of those and they turn on the Pokemon Pikachu console. Yeah. I would assume I'm about to get fully murdered. Electric, just like Pikachu ah. is an electric type. So they're like, I'm, they're going to kill me. Uh, is there an overarching motto to this partnership? So indeed, there it is. Um, we asked ourselves the question, what is if a car could connect it with your gaming console, just like it does with your uh, smartphone? 
So we are promoting a playful mindset. Gaming and driving like at the same time. Pokemon. I like this. So our game's new idea. claim is play on. Never stop playing. Play on the road. Speaking of never stop playing, yep. will we see you next year at Gamescom as well? Never yeah, stop we driving, just play at the, the same time. And play on for sure. Play on like the you road. always have from the get-go. So stay tuned. Awesome. All right, Oliver, thank you so much. And we've got much more O&L still to come. Bro, I wanted to see the car. Like, I wish they showed like inside of the car and everything. Like, if they got one right behind them. What's this? Dark Tide is a first Dude, I would have loved that. Game. Didn't ask about gas prices. Yeah. Of Warhammer 40,000. Welcome to Tertium, a sprawling hive city. I never got into uh, vermin type, so I'm not you particularly hyped. Jack. I like Warhammer 40k though. Free to serve the Inquisition in this darkest of hours. That wasn't a car behind him. It was a green screen. It is screen. your duty to fight. And if necessary, I guess that makes sense. Die. So is the car? I wonder if is the car real? Like I still am not 100 percent sure if that car is real. No help. No reinforcements. You are Tersham's last line of defense. Is that right? This reminds me a lot of like, you know, the old arcade games that you'd play at like fucking, uh, like you play at like CC's Pizza or like Chuck E. Cheese or Gotti Town or some shit, right? That's kind of the way it reminds me of. Rejects will rise. Oh, so dead. Yeah, shit like that. What's this? Once upon a time. There were two twin sisters, Zora and Yaga. You got it all wrong. What? Once upon a time, there was a freak with no face. Stop it! You can't hide from Baba, Princess. I'm... How much longer you want to be a nobody? I just need to find the Red Oak. What you really want to find is... The Hut. What the hell is wrong with this forest? Not bad. That's cool how you can shoot the rocks. You kill it. You kill it again. <laughs> anything bad happens, always head straight to the Red Oak. I can see, uh, you know, th like, I, I, I can see people like this game. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. It's not, it, it's, it's not like a big one to me, right? It's whatever, but like, it's, it looks okay. Yeah, sure. Red Bull gives you wings. It's like the girl version of Fable, you know? What's this? Oh, it starts off with combat. Okay, okay. Okay. That one actually looks interesting. Because it had gameplay in it. That was crazy. Can you believe that? What's this? Smile game. Are they gonna have honing in this one too? How can I hone my AK-47?
Okay. Man, that gameplay there looked crazy. I can't believe that. Wow. And now it is time for a final award. But don't worry, there is more on Saturday. So make sure to not miss our award show on Saturday. Okay. But here are your nominees for the most wanted Sony PlayStation game. Bloodborne 2. The Dark Pictures, The Devil in Me. Bloodborne 2. Lies of P. This one does look cool. I like this. I like that game. One Piece Odyssey. I still haven't started playing that game, so I don't know much about that. Like I, I, yeah, I feel like the second one. And the winner is Lies of P. Yeah, that game looked cool. Here to accept the award is G1 Choi, Project Director at Neowiz. The yeah. stage is yours. Oh, thank you. Um, first of all, I'm very proud of my team members, and uh, we always do our best to live up to the, our team's name enough. And finally, do you know BTS? <laughs> like BTS in Korean pop, uh, we'll be enough in the Korean gaming industry. Thank you. 감사합니다. Thank you. Congratulations Short, sweet, once and again to, the point. to Liza P. Thank you so much. I like it. And yes, yeah, thanks for the award. It for Peace. Me too for tonight. But before I say goodbye, I want to bring your attention to a more serious matter. What the is past it? five months of war have been devastating for the Ukrainian families, I and saw UNICEF that. and partners on the ground are supporting those in need. And of course, you know, we raised uh, almost so 400k. Consider for donating that? at unicef.org if it's Can y'all believe that? And um, yes, we have to take that care of That was a huge other. fucking W. Gamescom also supports the I was development proud of, I was of proud Antura. Of for the that. language learning uh, game for Ukrainian children. Why and Tura is based on an app w which was made for uh, Syrian well, war like, refugees to learn the local uh, language. And If you live I there mean, and your house is getting like bombed, it's not politics, right? More important than ever what to the take fuck care like, of each other. And they, 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 I hope half those people don't mind, even vote. Not only for Gamescom this week, but way after. What the hell Thank you so much. Thing? That's it from me. And have a wonderful Gamescom. Jeff, back to you. Thank you, Melly. Great to have you with us. We got a few more There's games to go yeah, now. Yeah. One of the great things about Gamescom is we love to it's profile a big games deal made in Germany. And this like next game was made by it's four much bigger students for in Berlin. For us. It was a big uh, success on Steam, it, you know? and now it's coming to a new platform. And we've got the announcement right now. It's like if we talk about like you know, you know like uh, like people like coming from like Mexico or something. Imagine how much somebody in Germany gives a fuck about that. You see what I'm saying? So you you gotta be able to. Uh, we actually uh, you know featured this game and, and I think ours too. Uh, our, our games expo. This one was interesting. Uh, to build a game. Dorber minute. Yeah. Remember whenever Rich couldn't pronounce it. Remember we couldn't say it the right way. Cute, beautiful, now we're gonna get dark. The Outlast Trials. You guys excited for this game? The Outlast Trials we showed you Am last I? year at Gamescom Open Night Let's Live. And we haven't out. heard anything since really from the team. And everyone keeps asking me, when are we gonna get to play this? Well, tonight, right now? we've got the world premiere of the brand new trailer. It's and lit. yes, some news on when you might get to play it. <laughs> Here we Let's go. Let's see what this is. Is Out Outlast just like a horror game, right? I have never played a horror game. Deep behavioral programming and voluntary re-education. Oh. To create constant pressure. I never played a horror game before in my life. I've never done it. Look at that pretty face. Progress in harmony. Don't betray us. A subjugation of perception. Oh my god. Chemical encouragement. Doctrine over person. Stop resisting. 
This is for your own good. A vital confession. Elaborate and inclusive, rather than terse. Hey, one. Oh, that's the steak sauce. Upon the experience of personal rebirth. The chef went out to the test and the and the and the Political criminals are subjected to a little fatal dispensing of existence by the promise of execution. That's right. Some people will get to play something this year. The Outlast Trials. All right. Some people Next will get up, to play something. We've got a tease of the first release from Embark Studios, which a lot of the veterans that worked on the Battlefield franchise in Stockholm, Sweden. They've got a shooter wrapped in a game show format where destruction is going to play a key role. What we've got here is a short tease okay. with some actual gameplay in it. The full reveal is coming later in September. You can sign up uh, starting now to get in to start play tests of this. Check out the finals. Let's see it. Let's get it. Oh, so there's going to be microtransactions. Okay, all right. Ah, fuck. Great. It's pay to win. Don't you tell me that's the whole fucking thing. Don't you go back to Jeff. Don't you go back. All right. Hi, Jeff. We got one more game for you tonight at Gamescom Opening Night Live, and this is one we've all been waiting a long time for. Here we go. Okay. No, yeah, I don't think it's Grand Theft Auto, right? There's no way. There's no way it's GTA. Okay. Okay. Yeah. He doesn't like using bullets. Okay. Dead Rising? Don't, bro, I played the fuck out of the first one of those. I mean, this is fucking badass, but where's the gameplay? I want to see what it looks like. The car 98 God. Was he gonna pull him out of the controller? Oh shit. That looks fucking badass, man. That looks so fucking badass. But like, where's the gameplay? It's I want to see the Dead gameplay. It's true. Dead Island 2 coming next February. And I gotta now see to the gameplay about this long-awaited game. Like, Con, Con, great to uh, that could be to so have you with good. Us. Uh, first of all, 
let's explain a little context to that trailer we saw. Who is that character that we meet? Thank you, Jeff. It's great to be here. Uh, so you just met Jacob, and he is just one of our six playable characters. Mm -hmm. Our zombie slayers have larger-than-life personalities and unique dialogue, which fits in okay. with a very pulpy and irreverent tone, as you could tell. Uh, I see the tagline there, uh, see you in hell A, so it looks like we're heading to, uh, to Los Angeles in this game? Well, That's uh, clever. our pulpy tone is kind of a love letter to classic cult Hollywood horror B-movies, so where better to set it than in Los Angeles? Yeah. Uh, sort of a modern paradise gone to hell. I like that. That's cool. Oh, yeah, it looks, uh, looks cool. <laughs> it's obviously over the top. Uh, I know you're working on the narrative yeah, for it. Pulp fiction. Uh, yeah, this yeah. game has been, you know, long awaited for many, many years. You guys have been working on it for a few? Yeah, I'm sure some fans would agree with you. It has yeah. been long awaited, but uh, Deep Silver Dam Buster Studios started work on it about four years ago. We were really lucky. We got to build it from the ground up. We got to focus on what we love about the franchise, the over the topness, and um, we wow. think we've got a really great action RPG out of that. Uh, so let's talk about the gameplay. We saw the CG piece, obviously, but what can we expect from the gameplay when you show it? Thank you, Jeff. So Thank Island you. 2's gameplay is all about experimenting with your preferred zombie slaying methods. Okay. Just kind of going nuts. It's a combat a toy sword. box of close quarters melee brutality with a few guns for fun. Uh, okay. Okay. Well, uh, all right. Yeah, it sounds good. When are we going to get to see more, uh, see some gameplay of it? You want to see some gameplay? Great play? question. I well, think we want to see some gameplay. You guys want to see the gameplay? Can we do it now? How about now? Okay, let's do Great. it. Here's your first look at the gameplay of Thank Dead God. Island 2. Thanks, God. Let's do it. Stand the fuck back. It's hammer time. This way for the happy ending. Jimmy? Humanity's survival depends on the red gold pumping through my veins. Well, sounds like you're the star of the show now. This motherfucker! Yeah, it did look like Stanley a little bit. It felt a little, it looked a little bit clunky. And believe it or not, there is an uncut version of that trailer you can watch online if you want to see even more. All right, well, that's Dead Island 2 coming in February. And that Honestly, is going to I thought they censored it because the they weren't done with the Gamescom animations. Opening night live. 2022. Yeah, I thought that's why. Uh, it's been a fun show, but before we go, I just want to say I hope everyone has a great Gamescom. Uh, there's lots of live streams for the next couple of days, lots of things for you guys to go and play and check out here on the show floor. And as for me and the team, well, we're going to go back to Los Angeles and get ready for the Game Awards 2022, which I'm excited to announce will be live on Thursday, December the 8th. 2022 from the Microsoft Theater in Los Angeles. We've got lots of great stuff we're working on for that. But until then, hope you guys have a great Gamescom. Thanks so much for being a part of Opening Night Live. We'll see you soon. What did you guys think? That's where Blood, yeah, Bloodborne 2 is going to be announced there, guys. Yep. That's right, guys. It's going to be next time, it's going to be Bloodborne 2. Uh, absolutely. 
that was a pretty sweet show. You guys liked it? Yeah, I always watch these. I want to see uh, what they've got coming up. Anything's cool. There were a couple of games that I saw that looked really fucking badass. Like, obviously, the one where, I mean, it was a guy with a sword killing people. Like, that was my favorite one. But the other ones were okay. I feel like there were a lot of presentation was good, games were meh. Yeah, I mean, you gotta work with what you're given, right? I mean, I thought that obviously, like, the show every year is just fucking perfect. It's just that the, um, uh, the games, you know, the games, it, it comes and goes, right? What, what are the people on the, what are the good, the good people in the YouTube chat have to say about this? Uh, bad, uh, pretty cool, ladies and gentlemen, you know, t chat toxic. 5 out of 10, wait for Minecraft Story Mode 3, Sleeper, End, Nice Show. Well, Jeff, you tried. Uh, gore, but no, oh boy. Um, let's see, still no games, solo top, still no games. Uh, yeah, so they're not pretty happy about it at all. Um, Chad always talks about game shows. Well, I don't know about that. I mean, like, I think it just depends on the show. I feel like really uh, a lot of the games were like, okay, I mean... It's just that I feel like a lot of them, and, and this is just like what happens, right? I mean, you're not going to be able to show, you know, some years. It's like, I mean, 2004, for example, was like a phenomenal year for gaming. But like 2005 or six, maybe not as much, right? So it's like sometimes you're going to have a lot of games of like one type of theme or, or not. I feel like a lot of these games, like they really nail the art idea of the game, right? Like the art of the game is like great. But the problem is that the the gameplay is what's really lacking. It's like you have a great concept and like the idea is really cool. It's just that whenever it's converted into like a video game, the video game is not a appealing, right? Like I, I think the best example of that was like the game with like the talking guns where it's like fundamentally, what are you doing? You're shooting a pistol that shoots one hit at a time at a target and then the target makes you move and like click on a bunch of things until you have to stop clicking on them, then that's it, right? So it's like the gameplay is what the issue is. It's not the uh, it's not the, the 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 abstract nature of the games. I think that the game's ideas are really cool. It's like I just want to see more gameplay. Dialogue is so bad. I am not a big fan of fourth wall dialogue. Um, it's not a big deal. But uh, it's generally not something that I'm a fan of. Uh, it's sustained power. There's no gameplay. Yeah, gameplay needs to be it.